okay, I just saw online someone's trying to make kind of like an old timey storyboard, which is really super cute. So what I did to get this was I did file new and then I did 20 by 10, 300 um, sRGB for the color profile and then I hit create, voila. So the first thing you're gonna do is click down on your shape tool for the ellipse and we're gonna go ahead and make the size that we want. I don't want it to be stroked, so I'm gonna hit no, but I do want it to be filled with just a light color, just so we can see. Then take the move tool and let's get this one kind of where we want it. Perfect. Okay, then we're gonna right click over in the layer panel and do duplicate layer. We're gonna do it once and twice. I forget if the original one had three or four, but we'll, we'll do three for now. You're gonna get the move tool. And then click on the second one. 9999, all right, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna click on the first one right here. We're gonna go file, place linked or place embedded, either one. Same, same, same. Let's just grab a picture. We're gonna line it up and double click on it. Then over in the layer panel, right click on her picture, create clipping mask. Okay, then we are going to click back on the ellipse, clip, click on the shape properties up here on the masks. Let's do a feather of, let's just do it at 100, so it'll be the same. Um, I should have done that first, 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 but that's totally fine. Click on the second one. Actually, I guess if we wanted to do feather of 100, we can do it first. There we go. And then we're gonna click File, Place Embedded. We can do one of the two of them together. Double click on it, right click on the layer, create clipping mask, get the move tool like that. Then we are gonna click, click on the last one, feather of 100. Place embedded. Let's get one that's a little bit, a little bit matchy matchy to the first one. Click, right click, create clipping mask. Make sure the move tool is selected. And there you go. Um, you can see there's a little line right here. Let's see which picture that's on. It's on this little dude. So we're gonna take the move tool and just bring it out a little bit more so the edges are covered. Okay, I hope this helps.